We call this logarithmic form. One day. One day you will learn. All right, logarithmic form. We can flip flop between logarithmic form and exponential form. Do you remember how to do that? Oh, okay. The base, you make an E. A to the X equals B. I need a calculator for that. Who? You're making E with it, right? So, for example, what would that look like in exponential form? Seven to the second power equals forty nine. Yeah, but you have to be able to go between them because we're going to have variables in here that you'll be solving for. What? Okay, what about... Write that in logarithmic form. Why did Kersey do that though? Yeah. All right, give me give me the log boys and girls. Give me the logarithmic form. Log base sixteen of eight equals. Remember, logs are exponents. They always equal exponents. Logs always equal exponents. Okay. Do y'all um do y'all remember doing this in algebra two now? All right. Any questions on converting? I told you ten minutes. That's all you have to do to convert. All right. What happens? What happens if there's no base indicated? No. No. Ten. If there's no law, if there's no base, we assume it's a base of ten. That's what we call a common log. How about this one? A natural log. What is a natural log? It's got a log base E, the irrational number E. Mm -hmm. E is a number, just like pi is a number. Huh? Yeah, as n goes to infinity. All right, yes or no? Maybe. Let's evaluate a couple in the calculator. What would this equal? Why is it two? I'm asking, what power do I need to raise this to to get this? Seven. 
Well, twos are easy because you just double it each time. I know I got to flip it. That's my negative exponent. And then 10 to the what power gives you 100? All right. Power, not no. Okay. Oh, what? The shoes? I don't really. Any idea? What you got, Corey? One fourth? Why one fourth? Why one fourth? Who said that, Sonny? Why one fourth? One fourth is the fourth root, right? The fourth root of 16. Sullivan, this one's for you. All right, y'all don't blur this one out. Let Sullivan do this one. I haven't posted anything yet. What's your guess? Negative three. Why is it negative three? The negative flips it over, and three to the third power, boys, is 27. Remember, we're looking for exponents. Where is my sheet? I'm facing take off y'all's point. Charlie. Charlie, this one's for you. Why? Why would it be a decimal? How do you know? I'm impressed. Look at you go. Now could you use your calculator to evaluate this? How? Calculator only works in natural log or base 10. Plug in how? Y'all don't remember? We have to use that change of base formula. We can make them have the same base and divide them. Since your calculator does base 10, you can plug it in that way. Should be between what and what? Three to the third is 27. Three to the fourth is 81. So it should be between three and four. Yeah, see what you get. Yeah. 
Yeah. Does that make sense? Can you? All right. This was just supposed to be a refresher introduction back into logs. Yes, why? Ratio of the circumference to the radius of the circle. Actually, it's the ratio of the circumference to the square radius of the circle. No, 2 pi d circumference equals 2 pi. It's the ratio of the circumference to 2 times the radius. 2 times the radius, not radius squared. All right, uh, one more. Write it in logarithmic form. That's a five. Yeah. It should be ln because that's natural log, right? That's log base e. Of. So we don't want to do ln and base e. So you either do this or this. We're going to go with the natural log. So natural log of. And logs always equal an exponent. 